Welcome back to Let's Play Inv. This was their world, but they cannot live here anymore. Apparently that was a checkpoint, because it remembered it and replayed the, uh, the what's it. Today has been a hectic day. I'm sorry, it's a little late. Uh, we had a big storm and a little tornado in the tree outside the windows now. Not vertical. And power lines got pinned to the ground and lots of fun things and like 18 hours, well, 20 hours without electricity and uh, <laughs> just a lot of catch up. I really want to go there. I'd like to go there, there, there. That one, I figure, is going. The, the glowing thing on top looks like one of the flying ships from the, uh, the previous version of N, so I'm curious to see if that's the one that will be most like the previous. I know nothing about that one. I'd really like to go there. I mean, from here, it looks like the unity symbol. Anyway, we're going to go this way. Uh, if I can... Okay, I... Oh, okay, I thought I was going to have to climb the whole mountain. Yes, this is just like the, ori the original. Oh, nice. I like this. Okay, yeah, that's right. It's this thing flying around, dropping food pellets. And occasionally warping the terrain because it has enough gravity attached. Okay, yes, this is this is a lot more familiar. I mean, hopefully the food pellets are, you know, full food pellets like the previous level and not like the previous version where food pellets were just occasional tidbits of food. But gen generally speaking, I am assuming that this level is going to be like the last, and I've just got to wait for that. I know in the previous game, the previous version of the game, I had to uh, collect bombs and climb up the shattered terrain to drop the bombs on those tractor beam ships that are eating terrain. But I do not know. I feel like there's been a, an upgrade in the graphical quality, but I'd have to check the two videos side by side. I like that when the terrain is pulled up, it's got a red glow to it. That's a very nice touch. Oh, no, that's not the terrain. Never mind. I remember the uh, where the tractor beam is targeting has a red glow. Huh. It's been a very long time. Like I said, this is one of the first games I Let's Played. Or the previous version of this game. Oh, please don't come this direction. I need this food. Okay, and the food still goes bad. If you see, when it drops at first, it's bright green, and it starts... I saw that. It starts to turn... Kind of a more yellowy color. And so far, I haven't seen him drop any of the upgrade things. Can you can you hold still? Not sure. I mean, the sound the sound in this game is very minimal. Ah, okay. Yeah, don't eat the red food. That's spoiled food. That makes your food bar go down. I want that food. You will give it to me. Thank you. Ah. Uh, the sound quality in this game is, it's very good sound, but it's also very minimalistic. Uh, the roar in the background is slightly eh, but it does a good job given that the point of it is to be a mild discomfort, as it were. Uh, I do like the general sound effects, they're very good, and as you can see that wave is getting bigger. In the last video I didn't notice the, uh, the wave <laughs> until it was crashing over us. Uh, the previous version of the game called it a wave, so I'm going to continue referring to it as a wave. It had that whole thing about when the wave hits, everything changes. I'd have to I'd, I'd have to check the other video for the exact caption. Uh, I may edit it into here. As an example, but yes. If memory serves, I had to climb up there and put bombs to disable those ships, which got to be a right pain. Uh, I think if memory serves, there that's what the upgrades were really useful for, is they made me jump better, I think. As you can see, I am starving, which is not good. Not a good position for me. And I don't see any food at all. Little food ship, where the... Where did you go? I think one of the ships ate it. That annoys me. It annoys me greatly. Not really, but slightly frustrating. 
As the terrain gets more and more torn up, it's easier to lose sight of the food ship. Therefore, I must chase it. Oh dear. Hello. Don't don't come this direction until food. Thank you. That is still just as creepy as ever to look at. I'm just gonna kind of hover near a food block and let my you know hunger meter go down. I can't let it. Uh, I can't let the food spoil, mind you, but. It's beneficial if I don't just instantly grab the food before it goes anywhere. I mean, before my hunger bar goes down enough to actually need it, but I also can't let the food spoil. I also need to keep track of that thing, or at least keep track of some food. There's two over there. If I go not paying attention, it's going to be my luck that one one of the beams is just going to come right up behind me. No, I wasn't ready for you yet. You rolled right into my mouth. Okay, now I've lost the food. There it is. Okay, there's the food bringer. Hello, food bringer. Can you stay over here where it's, you know, not lethal? Where the terrain is not shredded? Never quite been sure what these ships are doing. I assume they're harvesting, like, earth. It's green and brown. I assume it'd be dirt. This is where all the dirt went. Okay, food ship, where are you? I want to watch the wave, but I also don't want to starve. Also, every time it says don't starve, it makes me think of the game, don't starve. But, you know, this was made long before that, so it's not a reference. Okay, that's... that's going bad, so I need to eat it. The wave is getting closer. I mean, the wave is actually massive and moving quickly. It's just it's so far away that it doesn't look like it is until it's almost on top of you. No, 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 darn it. Well, the wave's almost here, and there's the food ship, so I'm gonna... No, come back. Make up your mind! Or feed me before you leave. Boop. Hello, giant black wave. Have you come to take me home? That is, that, that is, like, unnerving. I really want to run from it when it goes over me like that. So says the preacher man. This was our world. But we can't live here anymore. Hmm. So are you saying both of this was representative of us, or that was the alien's world, and this was our world, and the third one's going to be something else? I don't know. I am highly intrigued, nonetheless. There's also a new sound in the background. Before, it was just that occasional noise, and now there's a bell. So I presume when I finish that level, something new shall occur. But, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and we shall find out on the next time. It also occurs to me that I said, uh, Let's Play End instead of Suladan Plays End. That's going to take a bit of time for me to uh, get into the habit of that. <laughs>